time, yeah, we came alive Our souls intertwined when we kissed the sky, yeah And you made me better, but I made you feel brand new All the feels that you're feeling, staring at your ceiling Wondering what I'm up to, I'm better As you guys can see, I have so much love for Bali. I have been a couple of times now. Uh, no, not a couple. I've been there like nine times now. Um, I love going. I go two to three times a year. I just really enjoy that kind of lifestyle and it makes me really switch off, which is just so important to me when I'm always just so busy. So it's really good to go and just relax. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a list of my favorite places. I've written them down. So if you haven't got a pen and paper, please get one so you can jot these down. So then the next time you are there, you can go and check out these places too. So when I go to Bali, I usually stay in Seminyak. I have stayed in Uluwatu as well, which is absolutely amazing. If you can, please go and stay in Uluwatu. When I stayed in Uluwatu, we stayed for our wedding. We stayed at the Ungunsan, which was like out of this world. It was five bedrooms we had a uh two butlers and it was three nights it was expensive it was like three thousand us a night so if you can afford it definitely go it's worth it worth every friggin cent the experience was amazing um i also stayed at the anantara in uluwatu as well and that was fabulous we stayed there for a honeymoon okay so there are two places that you can stay in uluwatu um in Seminyak, uh, the best place that I've probably stayed at so far has been the Courtyard Marriott. There is amazing villas as well, so if you can get a villa, definitely recommend uh, checking that out too. Um, okay, so I've got a list here of restaurants in Seminyak because that's what I know the best. So get a pen and paper if you haven't, all right, so you can write all these down. So uh, like daytime, I usually would go to Sea Circus. I love the fish tacos there. They do amazing healthy salads as well. Also breakfast time, they do omelets and stuff and you can get egg white omelets. So that is really cool. So I like going to Sea Circus quite often and that's just in Seminyak. Um, also Sister Fields, it's really good as well. I'm not really impressed to be honest with their breakfast as such. It's okay, it's average, but um, I do really like their salads and their juices and stuff as well. So you got Sea Circus and Sister Fields for your healthy kind of lunches and stuff. Um, in terms of like Mexican, I really love Mexican food and tacos. Like I eat so many fucking tacos when I go to Bali. Taco Beach Grill is really good. I rate that so much higher than Moto Mexicola. Like I found that that was really average. Moto Mexicola is good if you want to go there at night and go and drink and stuff, but food wise, not, not so much. Uh, Taco Beach Grill is really good and that's in uh, Seminyak as well. There used to be one in Changu but I'm pretty sure that one closed down. Um, also Revolver Espresso, they do really nice breakfasts, friggin awesome coffee and they've got lots of healthy kind of options and salads and stuff too. You've also got all of your like organic places like Earth Cafe. There's a couple of other organic restaurants um but you'll find that most of them are vegetarian too so it just depends like all these places that i've said i find that i get like a decent source of protein with my meals um grocer and grind they do a massive like chicken like a half a chicken if you want something that's really high in protein too uh so they're kind of usually my day things for restaurants that i usually go to um night time in Seminyak, like there's so many amazing restaurants every time i go there i go to something new i think the perfect fucking needs to lift this game because sorry for sorry um it's just amazing like the stuff that they have to offer um 
So one place that I went to was Barbacoa and they the one that had the suckling pig and that was incredible. We went there twice last time because um, the food there was so good. Uh, another place, Meriputi, I think that's how you say it, is right next to Mira's nightclub. Um, that was amazing. Like when I go to Bali, I like to eat as much of their food as possible, like the Asian cuisines uh, or Indonesian as well. Um, and that was really nice. And the place was freaking amazing amazing it was so gorgeous inside so that was really nice um we also went to mama sun and that was another really nice place also in seminyak too um and that was also as well like asian cuisine um and also bamboo as well so that's another one that's like your asian indonesian cuisine and that was really nice so i tend to go to those kind of things when i go out because it's nice to experience something different rather than sticking to the norm um my husband really likes burgers so we went to boss man burgers and that was good but wacko burger is pretty awesome like you get to make your own burger um so you can just chuck whatever you want in there like i think i had a massive one the last time i went um you can also just get steaks and stuff like that there too which is really good um so that's it Probably, there's so many more, but they would be my all-time favorites when it comes to food in Seminyak. Um, things to do. Um, I love to go to the beach clubs. Um, I went to Finns the last time I was there, and that's in Changu. Um, that's part of Samara. So the Ungansan, which is down in Uluwatu, that used to be Samara, and then they changed their name, and they used to have a Sundays there. Uh, sorry, a Finns there. That is now changed to Sundays. So... You've got Sundays in Uluwatu, which is like a beach club, and you can use snorkels and stuff and go there for the day. They've got awesome food at that restaurant too. Um, then you've got Finns in Changu, and that's an awesome beach club. I really like that. Um, I used to go to Potato Head quite a lot. I'm, I feel that sometimes really pretentious. When I'm on holidays, like I don't put makeup on. I really don't care. I just want to relax. Um, so I really like Finns. Um, kind of kid-friendly as well. They had like a few kids, not heaps, but that was really good um so they would be like my two like kind of beach clubs i guess well one in seminyak the other one in uluwatu is pretty far away uh if you're down in uluwatu way i would definitely recommend going to el cabron it's a spanish tapas restaurant and it is on the cliff and you've got a massive uh pool there and the sunsets the food everything is amazing you have to pay like a minimum i think it's like 50 dollars or something but that is awesome i love that that would be one of my favorite places to visit um last time we were there we also went to gilly and gilly was good like that was a really good experience it was so chilled and relaxed so it was really good to kind of get away and just switch off and not be in the hustle bustle of Seminyak sometimes if I'm in Seminyak a lot like I get a little bit mm, uptight but I think that might be because I'm on the back of the freaking motorbike the whole time and sometimes that freaks me out but um it was really good to kind of switch off when we went to Gilly um we stayed at Pondok Santi and that was incredible like those rooms were just amazing had an outdoor bathroom your own private beach the sunsets at Gilly were incredible but just be prepared for a hell of a trip there and back it takes a long time um you're jam-packed onto this boat um heaps of Europeans on Gilly as well like I really didn't feel like I was in Bali when I was in on Gilly um but Gilly was good too so there's just so much to see and there's so much that I haven't still done um but I just really love Bali and I hope that you guys get a little bit out of that so then when you go you can visit the awesome places that I did thanks guys